I just wanted to quickly walk you through setting up Google Analytics. I talk a lot about this in the marketing tip emails that I send out to everyone. Um, I also talk a lot about this in my weekly webinars. So I really wanted to make sure I took a video to walk you through the steps of not only accessing or adding an account to Google Analytics, but also how you can add it to a WordPress blog. So let's get started. If you logged into Google Analytics and you've actually, um, first page you're gonna, or second page you're gonna come to after you've actually set up or logged into Google Analytics is this page where you're gonna click the option that says sign up for Google Analytics. When you're signing up for Google Analytics, it's looking for the website. So all you have to provide is everything that comes after the HTTP. So therefore, you're just going to put in a www. Dot, and for this example, we're going to be using um, one of our sites that house all of our videos. Um, it's going to show an account name. You can actually specify this. I like to change this just because um, I have so many sites on on my on my um, Google Analytics, so it allows me to actually track which results I'm looking at. Territory, the U.S., obviously, and I happen to be in the Pacific Zone, so it looks like that's all set. So you hit the button Continue. When you're setting up the new account, it's going to ask for contact information. So we'll just put my name in there. Once you name it again, they'll say yes. Hit Continue. Um, as always, it's going to say yes. I always recommend that you read all the terms and conditions. Just make sure you're comfortable and understand them. Um, since I've done this before, I have read them, um, so I'm not going to read them here. And next step we're going to say is create the account. So once we create the account, you're going to get to a page like this. It's actually going to have code that you can copy and paste into your site. Um, this is code that you can put at the bottom of every single page. Or what you're going to do with this coding is you're going to add it to a actual plugin. So I'm going to quickly show you how to do that. Um, the one thing that you always need anytime you're going into a plugin or adding anything to a site is you're going to need your Google Analytics code, which always starts with this UA. So what I do recommend is copy that here, go all the way um, between those two marks so you get the dash one there. I hit copy. And then what we're going to do is go to WordPress. So this is our blog that we've set up to house all the videos in the video that you're actually looking at right now. So to um, add a plugin, all you do is click on the option here on the left-hand side. Now, once again, this is a WordPress-based blog. So whether it's a WordPress blog that you own the URL or it's hosted on WordPress, you'll have some of these options in the back end. So if you click on plugins, you end up on this page. Since we're going to be adding a new plugin, we click Add New. And then we're going to type in the plugin that we want. My favorite one is called Ultimate Google um, Analytics, I believe. So we'll just type that in. We'll hit the search button or hit enter. And as you can see here, all different types of plugins are popping up that use that same phrase. But we see the one that I want here, which is Ultimate Google Analytics plugin. I click install now. It's always going to double check and say, are you sure you want to plug in it, um, add this plugin? And I say yes. Once it's actually installed it, the next step is to activate the plugin. Now, I've said this in previous videos, but just as a refresher in case it's the first time you're seeing this video, is that plugins are little snippets of code um, or software that you can add to a WordPress blog so you can add a capability or feature without knowing really any HTML or really any coding knowledge. So that's what makes sites like WordPress great and really user-friendly for people who um, you know, are managing businesses, managing blogs, but are not IT people um, at heart. Um, so that's why I really love WordPress. It gives you that capability. So we've added that plugin. What I always like to do when I add a plugin is just hit the refresh button. So it will be added to the left-hand side um, of our admin screen. And just looking here in the back end, it's probably in the settings section. So we just expand that. And as you can see here, it says Ultimate GA, which is Ultimate Google Analytics. So we click on that. And then we come to a page where it asks us for our Google Analytic ID. As you can see here, it has that UA with numbers in between, dash a number. So I'm going to paste in the number that we got from Google. Here it's going to say check for updates and enable trackers. So we want to say yes to all of that. We click update options and it's that simple. We're done. Google Analytics has been added to the entire blog from this one step. 
We've also showed you how easily and quickly you can add a plugin um, and you're good to go. So I recommend that anyone with any site, it doesn't matter what you're doing on your site, please, please, please add Google Analytics because it's a great way to track who's coming to your site, where they're leaving, what type of um, traffic and activity people are taking on your site, and it's going to give you a whole heap of knowledge. And in future webinars and training videos that we do, we're going to reference it. So please, please, please take this step to add it if you have a blog or if you have a website. Um, you can actually take this snippet of code, copy and paste it to the bottom of your page, or if you have an IT guru that you work with, um, copy and paste this code and send it to your IT guru and ask them to add Google Analytics. So, thanks for your time. Talk to you soon.